Hi, welcome to this video. This is about algebra word problems involving motion. All right, what we're going to do is go through this video series and we're going to talk about the basics of motion problems, what formula we use. We're going to go through a couple of problem sets and we'll have a self quiz on the at the end of the video series. So thanks for watching and tuning in and here we go. First of all, the idea with motion problems is the formula is distance equals rate times time. We're going to need to be consistent with this. We'll use D as the distance travel, which is miles, feet, inches, whatever we're measuring it in. Rate, of course, is the speed, and we'll call that R. And time is T. Now, it's not always in hours, like miles per hour. It could be seconds, could be years, months, any unit of time. Now, this visual diagram I'm going to show you here is a quick way of figuring out do we multiply or divide to solve the missing part. All right, so think about having D over RT. So D is on one side of the equation, and the R and the T being multiplied here is on the other side. So stack them up vertically, draw a line in between, and this is going to be a visual of figuring out how we do it. All right, our first example, how far can you go pedaling 15 miles an hour for two and a half hours on a bicycle? All right, let's kind of label what we've got. How far can you go? Well, that's got to be distance, right? Pedaling 15 miles an hour, well, that's got to be your rate, the speed, for two and a half hours, and that's your time. All right, let's use our visual up here, and notice that D is the unknown. We're asking for the distance, how far can you go? Notice that that leaves us with R and T. Now, what are we doing with that? We are multiplying. So we put that together, and it's 15 times 2.5, or 15 times 2.5, and that's got to be 37.5. What's our units? We're looking at distance, so that's got to be miles. All right, so to solve for distance, we're going to multiply the rate times the time. Here's another example. If John flew 1,250 miles in an airplane in three hours, what was the speed of the plane? All right, so 1,250 is distance. That's the distance traveled. The three hours is the time of travel, so that's my T. And what was the speed of the plane? Obviously, that's got to be the R. All right, look up at the visual model here. R is unknown, so I pretty much ignore it or block it out. And then I look at what's left over, D and T. Notice it's D over T. We can think of this line now as a division line, so distance divided by time. So the rate is 1250, 1250 miles, divided by 3, which is 3 hours. Divide that out, which is 416 point repeating sixes miles per hour, or we can say 416 and 2 thirds if we want to convert it to a fraction. Okay, don't forget your label, miles per hour. All right, so that's what to do if you are missing the rate and looking for speed. All right, final example. How long would it take to travel 93 miles on a skateboard going 12 miles per hour? So how long? That is asking about time. Traveling 93 miles, that's going to be our distance. And going 12 miles per hour, that's obviously our rate, rate of speed. Looking at our visual model up here, what is the unknown? That would be time. And what does that leave us with? Distance divided by rate. So, time it takes to travel, it would be 93 miles divided by 12 miles per hour. And that would be 7.75. Now, what's my label? It looks like hours. Okay, we can also write it as seven and three-fourths hours. All right, 
So those are three different types of motion problems. But now we're going to combine it in some word applications where you have to draw some diagrams. So take a look at that in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.